Hello oh, everyone, I'm Alex and welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys are doing well. In today's video, we're going to be addressing something really quite serious. Uh, we haven't spoken about it in a while. It's Snapshot Eye. More importantly, a response to Snapshot Eye because he has um, come out and said something about me, which I honestly couldn't let stand. Uh, it left me genuinely angry. I was livid when I saw this, when it was sent to me. Uh, you guys kept on tagging me in videos like this. You always tag me in videos like this on TikTok. And it upset me. Here's the clip. Opinions on I'm Alex. I don't know him. <laughs> Sorry? There is absolutely no way in hell that he does not know who I am. And I'm not saying in hell because it looks like I'm there. And I'm dressed like this. I'm not Satan. I swear I'm not the devil, guys. I'm the good guy. Out of me and Paul, who's more unbearable? That's a good question, one well, I don't need you to answer in the comments below. But if you're down there, subscribe to the channel, thank you. I haven't spoken about Paul in a while because it got to the point where it was relatively serious and it was kind of getting a bit depressing. He was whisked away in a police car. He went live with an OnlyFans girl who was 19 and then voice messages were leaked about her having to like not get checked for an STD after she slept with him because he was saying he hadn't had sex with anybody in like eight years or something. I don't need to know that about a random bloke on the internet. But I do! It's in my brain forever. And a lot of people constantly talk about Paul. Is he a danger? Is he somebody who people should be looking out for? And then it got to the point where recently there was a huge breakdown. Now a lot of people I've been saying, oh man, like, you keep on doing all these videos on Paul, you keep on pushing him, you keep on pushing the bloke. I'm not pushing him to do anything. If he wants to carry on going live, if he wants to carry on making videos, he can do that. He knows that people are going to respond at this point. It's been months, man. It's been so long since we did that first video. I mean, you, you could look. It's been ages, all right? And then people kept on saying, you guys are giving him attention, uh, me and my friends. Um, as if the whole country wasn't tuning in every day and watching these videos. You can't blame five of us for laughing at him when everybody else is like making Reddit pages and writing books about him and even tracking his location day to day via an app. But the thing is, Paul has officially now started to fall off. I think people have stopped caring. I stopped caring. And I know if I've stopped caring, than everybody else has. So he tried to do one last big grab for attention, and it failed. Paul changed his bio to, I don't want to wake up tomorrow or something. Is he's like something like emo teenager? Like me? I'm not a teenager, I'm 24. What am I on about? Grow up, mate. It's not, not a phase, phase man. man. It's, it's my lifestyle. I and mean, then after the breakdown came a series of videos that I could only describe as the most horrific ones yet. Yeah, I think he's fully lost it. I think he's fully started to go off the deep end. It's quite clear that Paul Breach has completely lost his mind. Isn't that right, Paul? <laughs> See? All of these videos have made him crazy. Do you want to go back down to where you were before, Paul? <laughs> oh, okay, Paul. See you in a bit. I'm just going to carry on the video like he's not there. It's still on my hand. I don't like it. Why did I spend... A hundred pounds on this. I don't know. The thing is, these videos just get weirder and weirder. Uh, let's just keep on watching. Like, what is this? I've come up with a plan. I bought a hat. You probably didn't recognise who this was because of my cunning plan to wear a hat. So I'm thinking, nobody knows what I look like in a hat and hasn't seen me in a hat. Well, uh, nobody knows what you look like in a hat until you posted this video that got half a million views onto TikTok. And now we all know the exact hat you're going to be wearing and what you look like wearing one. Well done, Joe Goldberg. A lot of people say, oh, he looks like Joe Goldberg from the series You about the psychopathic sex having freak uh, who kidnaps people and, you know, is creepy. And then I thought, he doesn't look like him. It's based on him. <laughs> <laughs> so if I wear the hat when I go outside, nobody's gonna know it's me in the hat. So I think that's quite a good thing about the hat. The thing is, everybody knows who Paul Breach is. He is a famous celebrity at this point, and people are gonna go, Hey, he's not! He's not say that! No! He is. He's a celeb. Uh, he's A-lister. See him on the red carpets? Not on the red carpets. He stands outside of the red carpets in Leicester Square, begging to be let in. Please let me go see Avatar 2. Ah, uh, probably not that great. I wouldn't worry about it. 
Controversial opinion. This isn't relevant to the video. I don't know why I'm saying this. But he is a celebrity, and he is recognisable. I'd argue he's probably one of the most recognisable people in the country right now. What have we done? He's also thrown in a bit of, like, transphobia in the bio. I'm identifying as a cat. Cat boy, Paul era? Meow. What a- <laughs> Alex, mate. This is why I don't do videos by myself anymore, because I'm clearly losing the will. That's funny, man. You know, that's always a funny one. I'm identifying as a- <laughs> Yep, great, that's sick. Uh, what are you, a conservative in America? Actually, they've probably got a lot in common. Him and Trump, very similar dating pool. I saw the flight logs. <laughs> so we'll see how that one works. Also, I'm so close to contemplating shaving because I had to shave here and it went fucking wrong so I was like, fuck, get off my face. And now it's gone a bit too short. So I might just put the beard off and then nobody will know worse. I am because I'm in a hat and the beard won't be there. I don't know, it's close, it's close to I don't know, if I put the hood up, nobody's gonna know. I don't know. So we're gonna see. But again, nobody will know me, because I'm being a hat. And nobody knows I wear a hat. Sorted. Hi. Of course he ends it with hi. God, he drives me up the wall. The thing is about this, is I got a text message, right, basically like 20 minutes after this video was posted, from one of my friends saying, I've just seen him walking through Leicester Square. So if he really is like trying to be inconspicuous and stay on the down low, don't walk through the capital city at one of the biggest tourist spots aimlessly for no reason. But the fact is, Paul does this all for attention. And yeah, he's getting it. It's slowly dying off because it's got boring. Like, who really cares anymore? He'd have to do something arguably worse to capture people's attention, and I'm not encouraging that. And in fact, I'd say this is probably for the best for him. He should just try and fade into obscurity as quickly as possible. I don't understand why at his age you'd want to be famous. I don't even like being recognised half the time I go out, and I'm nobody. I'm just some weird little emo freak who makes YouTube videos in his spare time. And I'd say my reputation isn't half as bad as Paul's. I finally found somebody worse. <laughs> I don't get why you do this to yourself. I don't get why he continues to subject himself to this torture. It must be like a kink. You did met me. We did meet. We met in a hotel foyer. We met in a hotel foyer. How weird is that? I love seeing videos like this where Paul talks about meeting fans because the one thing that is still so weird to me is I keep on seeing videos all the time of him where it's like him with a group of men and he looks miserable. You can see on his Instagram tags and then him with a bunch of women and he's got like the biggest grin on his face ever. It's like, come on, mate, try and hide it a bit more. Like, be a bit more inconspicuous about why you're still doing this. It's weird to think at one point this man had a family, like, and like, you know, as much as that was strange, and there was a lot going on there, he had a family, and he, and he traded that in for whatever this is. I don't have anything funny to say there, it's just sad. Ah, ah. Oh, what is this? Number one, what are those eyes at the beginning of the video? Ghoulish. He looks like a white walker, uh, not just because of the complexion of his skin, and uh, he's got a heart made of ice, and because the white walkers steal children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm awful. I'm a, I'm a bad man. Now, I believe the reason Paul does these videos is because he wants to live out like his dream of being like a teenager. He wants to be inside a. T he wants to be a teenage boy in inside a. T he wants to be in it. He wants to be a teenage boy again. He wants to know what it's like to be inside a teenage boy. He wants to be a teenage boy again, is what I'm trying to say. Got there eventually. So he started doing like weird filters and making videos like this. I am your mother. You listen to me. I stop all that mansplaining or something. I don't know the lyrics, I don't really fucking care. This song sucks and I want to die. <laughs> Grow up, mate. It's absolutely fascinating that this video that is on screen right next to me. That is a that is an adult man. That's not a teenage boy. That's a real human being that exists and walks the streets of London, prowling for people in my target audience. Probably when I say my target audience, I mean my YouTube videos, not as in in general. Why would I even clarify that? I don't know. Can you defend this video, Paul? Get your arm off me. Thank you. You tell me what you did. Uh, <laughs> I've given up. I've given up already. And we only have this part. I've never, I've never used it. burns after this. I'm going to burn it. Now you may think, oh, TikTokers, they're untalented and they've got like no ability or skill. And I would be inclined to agree with you. But 
Slash I has decided that he's going to try and soft launch his acting career with this video. I think the ladies and gentlemen here in Congress, we need to know the answers. Can you categorically state yes, no, maybe, if, possibly, sort of? Does TikTok access the clocks, mine, and all these amazing God-faring people's homes? Can you answer yes or no? Good. I, I, I guess we'll never know what the Epstein trial was going to look like, but if I could hazard a guess, it would be something along the lines of this. He loves himself, doesn't he? he do, he's obsessed. He is. He, he does think he's great. I don't know where he pulls that from. The way he manages to have self-confidence like this is inspiring, I think, for most people. I think a lot of people watching this, if you could be half as confident as Paul is in his ability to do absolutely nothing, then the world would be a better place. Or maybe there'd be more versions of him, and then it would be worse for young people. Not only did Paul's generation give us climate change, but they also decided that they'd bother us in the street as well and message us on Instagram DMs and not leave any woman alone within like a four mile radius. 400 miles, probably. Being realistic, he travels a lot. Everybody told me that I sound like CG5. Probably because I am CG5. Hey man, well, it's probably because you weren't wearing the hat. If you were wearing the hat, this wouldn't happen, all right? Get that hat on. Get that snapback on, and people might start calling the police around you, but hey, it's better than a hood or a balaclava. You should try that next. Put the ballet on, Paul. Arguably, it would give you less of a threatening aura. Anybody who needs to hear it, you're amazing, you're incredible, you're fantastic. Believe in who you are, believe in where you are, believe in what you're doing, and live life with an amazing, fantastic smile on your face. It's really weird for somebody to be making a video like this after they've buried their seventh body. I, I don't understand why he's always out in the forest. What are you doing out there? What reason do you have to be there alone? There is nothing, there, there are certain situations where I think that when you're like a 50 year old man, you shouldn't be putting yourself in. You shouldn't be hanging around a school if you don't have any children that go there. You shouldn't be in a forest alone and you shouldn't be anywhere at all. I think if you're 50 years old, you should just give up on life. Completely. You should just lock yourself indoors. It's over for you. You've had your time. Good night. You also shouldn't be in hotel rooms with anybody not your age. Or half of it. Or in Airbnbs with 19 year old fans girls. That one probably more pressing <laughs> uh, in the police report. His feet, I'm not looking at them, but they are, they are dirty. Get some new socks on, mate, or wear black ones, I don't know. Like, if you're constantly out, like, burying bodies 24-7, allegedly, you should probably think of your footwear. Quite important. I thought you'd be good at, like, covering your tracks by now. Everything sucks. Just kidding. Everything is great. No, really, I haven't thought about my ex today. Oh, wait. Fuck, I just did. But I went outside for the first time in a few days and it felt nice and i might try doing exercise <laughs> not really if you're wondering what that uh, midlife crisis of a TikTok looked like um paul's girlfriend broke up with him sophie i think she's one of the older ones and basically he's been upset he's had, he had a bit of a breakdown um it's rough man yeah relationships suck uh this is why you should try to get with people who are your own level of maturity you might be able to understand each other. Although, let's face it, you probably do have more in common with an 18-year-old because that's how you act. Doesn't mean you should be getting with them, though. He captioned this video, by the way. Uh, would life be different if the filter was permanent? Um, yeah, you'd look like a Bogdanoff twin. Or, I don't know, Simon Cowell now. He probably looks better. But I think this is the end of the Paul Breach saga. At least, I, I pray to God it is. Because if I have... Look after this. For any longer, than is required, I'm going... To... Sorry, uh, this show was interrupted there. There's a, a blip in the broadcast. I, I don't know what that was about. Um, ignore it, okay? I think it's finally over. I, I really think this has come to an end. I, and I, for one, am relatively glad of it. Uh, I don't really want to have to kind of talk about this again. I hope there is no reason to, really. I hope I'm not given a reason to bring this up.
for the millionth time. But if there is, I'll be back. I will be back.